I want to entrap the viewer. I want the viewer to look at my work and say, what's going on here? I was born in a village outside of Santa Fe. I loved to draw, but in the school systems, I was not allowed to do any drawing. I had to concentrate on reading and writing. So that avenue was suppressed in me for many, many, many years. When I was 18 years old, I got caught up with the Chicano movement, political issues that the Hispanic people were having, whether farm workers or immigrants coming into the United States. Here I was in the street saying, Viva la raza, viva the race. And I didn't really understand my culture. So I had to re-educate myself. And in doing that, I started to find that the Santo images were our art. And so I wanted to try my hand at it, and I started doing it as a hobby. And this is the first time that I ever had art back into my world since the eighth grade. The Santo tradition began in New Mexico probably over 300 to 400 years ago. It's a tradition of wood carving, and these pieces are Christian images. the Spanish market, that's where it all began for me. When I entered the Spanish market, it was because of an organization that was called the Spanish Colonial Art Society. They wanted the pieces to be replicated out of the churches. And these pieces, unfortunately, were 200, 300 years old. And my personal research is I started to find out that underneath all that muck and dirt, there was bright color. So I reintroduced that into the market. And that was one of the first steps of my downfall, so to speak, because they wanted me to age my work so it looked like the original old pieces in the church. Starting my life out in the Santo tradition was a very positive place to be at that particular time, but it didn't allow me the, the room to grow. It sort of was stifling to do the same image 20 times. I identified myself as a Santero for many years, but as I started to experiment with my imagery and change the pattern of thought as to a Santero, I felt that it was better that I would not use that term. So I took on the term as just being a sculptor, a traditional sculptor. This is called the immigrants. It's not a family necessarily. It's three individual pieces who are immigrants and their skin colors vary from one to the other. So they're of mixed origins. The immigration it's how this country was built, and yet we suppress all immigrants that come here. With all the political issues that we have today, I find myself dwelling more in that political world. I still use a lot of church-related iconography. This piece, he has the stigmata on his hands and feet and his bandana on the top of his head is his actual crown of thorns. In some forms, he's the Christ figure doing his last song. Doing this style of work, it, it's not a job. I couldn't be without it, as I can't be without breathing. It grows every year, it's, it's much more. At my age of 73, I believe that I'm doing the best work that I've ever done before. And I look forward to getting to 75 to see where that takes me. And I wanna be the guy that keeps getting better.